Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is to follow the instructions from the internet. A basic, actual, do-it-yourself paper bag that's not origami or from a template that I made from scratch. Not from scratch, I literally decimated a mercury bug. Bug? Mercury bag. Oh, no, I'm trying to say a mercury drug. Well, I lost my point. So here, uh, the instruction calls for a really large paper and I don't have anything in stock at the moment because I'm stuck in my house. <coughs> it related um, because of something. Anyway, so I have a lot of trouble with these instructions because they're very um, measurement based. And as you can tell from the previous videos, I am not that consistent with measurements sometimes I stick with them sometimes I just bail on them halfway sometimes I realize oh I forgot to do this measurement so the whole process of this is trying to figure out the size of the paper and aligning them in a way where I don't have to cut at all I just have to stick both of them together <laughs> Finally, okay, that piece of paper is done. Now I have the exact size of the um, needed. Ex I have the exact size. I got the exact size of the paper needed based on the instructions. Now I'm. Next is supposedly I am measuring this fold, which would act as the base or the floor. Again, I keep bringing up bases and floor and then failing to explain them at all but ultimately it doesn't really matter I'm just testing out the technique because heck if it mattered I would have used not I would not have used scratch paper so I folded up this thing which is the base and then supposedly the instruction says measure um, half of the paper then the half of that size um, half of that half and then mark it with a pencil, but I am really lazy and tired and exhausted. So I just took the shortcut and folded it instead. You're not supposed to fold it because in the finished products, those creases are very visible. But <laughs> I kind of don't care anymore. I'm just seeing if this design works at all. Next, I am reading <laughs> and it took some time. Well, this part is not, um, it's not that easy to understand because supposedly I'm overlapping the paper so they can be enclosed, but they didn't exactly specify whether or not the overlap should be a specific size, specific fraction. It just says overlap, so how? So I'm just hoping that I didn't overlap too much or too little. Anyway, the bag is now enclosed and I have these things where um, I thought those creases 
in the side of the paper it's supposed to act as the walls but then they give measurements and said um, 1.5 centimeters is actually the size of the border and then I measured the measurement and then <laughs> that made the bag really thinner and I, even I got confused I'm like is it is, there, is this actual size of the thing is it too thick this feels thick oh uh, well so like that was the moment where I questioned instructions. I've been questioning it the whole time because it's really weird. Then again, I got it from WikiHow and WikiHow is just weird in general. Props to them. Still weird. I can still I can still call it weird. I'm just I'm still testing out their design. So I got the border slash wall of the paper bag finished. I got them folded. I got them creased, and then um. Supposedly, I just fold that in half, which me, which gives the bag its dimensions. But since the border is too big, there's not a lot of space left. Which is why the overlapping thing was an issue. I felt like in this part, I overlapped it too much. That's why there's no more space in the bag. Anyway, I'm supposed to enclose it. Um, by just folding in the creases together this is in the template video this is the part where I was stressing about triangles a lot well in the wiki how instructions it just says oh just you know squish them together and you know even though if they're not neat you got the floor and you're done and I, <laughs> I didn't read the instructions too much I just look at the pictures most of the time and said okay I understand but then while I'm folding it, I'm like, wait, there's no space for the folds. How do I, how do, how I do? So, I had no choice, but uh, the creases overlap each other here. And hoping it, hoping it doesn't matter in the end. I taped them together. I didn't have time to tape the inside because I didn't open the bag yet. Till now. It's really hard. The floor in itself is not stable at all, so every time I try to open the bag, it just kind of opens up a bit, destroying the process, the painstaking process I just endured. So I'm trying my best to enclose the floor while I'm opening the bag wide. And there's so much crumples, but there, you know, it's a bag, kind of a bag. Ultimately, I'm just scared of closing it again because if I do, I thought I'll never get to open this bag, but there, it sort of works if I paid more attention to the instructions, but, you know, it works.